Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm sorry for the hiatus that I was on. I was enjoying a vacation, I was just enjoying some time away, but in that time away, I actually did watch quite a few movies, and why not give you a massive movie review with four different movies that I'm going to review, um, and that I watched over this period of time. We'll start with Dungeons and Dragons. This is a movie I didn't really, when I seen the previews in the theater, I was like, I wasn't interested in watching this or anything. I was like, what the fuck ever. I'm not watching this. Uh, it did, param when it premiered on Paramount+, Plus. I was like, alright, I'll give it a go. It actually turned out to be an alright movie. I actually enjoyed myself watching this movie. It will be a movie that I, I could see myself actually revisiting. Is it the greatest piece of shit that I've ever seen? No, it's not a great, great movie. It, you know, it does have flaws and everything, but it was actually entertaining, and I, I did enjoy the movie. I thought Chris Pine um, was great in the role and everything, and it just, you know, just the story was actually pretty decent. I don't know much, much about Dungeons & Dragons, so I don't know if it follows the source material at all. I just know it was an interesting movie. Um and I definitely recommend a good... Just watch it. Just watch it and give it your own opinion on what you thought about it. Um, another movie that I checked out was Shazam... Fear, Shazam! Fury of the God. Shazam 2. On Dis, uh, Not Disney Plus. Um, on uh, Max. And this was the most boringest fucking movie I've ever watched. This is by far, right now, my worst movie of this year, of 2023. I was so fucking bored. I was checked out. It was just... It did not keep my interest whatsoever. I had no interest in this movie. And... It was just boring to me. I'm sorry. If you liked it, you liked it. That's your opinion. My opinion is this is not a movie that I'm going to rewatch or go back to. It It is, on to me, on the borderlines of Wonder Woman 2, Wonder Woman 84, of non, non-watchable DC things. I don't know if it's just because you, you feel checked out because it's not going to matter anyway. But yeah, I was just not into this movie whatsoever. It couldn't even keep me, my interest as a movie. That's how bad it was. Um, another movie I just checked out was 65, uh, starring Adam Driver. Um, this movie only has four fucking actors in it. Four actors, and that's crazy. Um, but the thing is, it actually kept my interest in this movie. Uh, there was a point where I was like, oh my god, this is kind of boring in a ways. But it picked back up a little bit. Um, it... Reminds me of some other movies. Uh, After Earth is one of them. Uh, but After Earth is not a great movie to be compared to. But 65 was interesting. Uh, Adam Driver, he just reminds me of fucking Keanu Reeves in a ways. Especially in this movie. Uh, but it was actually very interesting. I actually enjoyed the movie. I, I can see myself going back and re-watching this movie. Um, is it a great movie? No, it's not a fantastic movie where you're going to want to watch this all the fucking time. It is a movie, if it's on, I might leave it on. If there ain't nothing else, better on. Uh, but yeah, it was actually decent enough. And then, of course, we get to The Little Mermaid. What did I really think of The Little Mermaid? Well, when me and my daughter left, we were kind of like disappointed, I guess, in a ways. We thought it was fine. It was all right. But it wasn't... It's just like I thought I was going to when I walk when I walked out of this movie. I was like, I'm going to want to watch the original, and that's kind of how I felt when I watched left it. I was like, I'd rather watch the original, the original cartoon. Is it? It's fine the way it is. Uh, it's not made for me. It's made for you know a new generation of little girls and everything who love you know who are going to grow up with this you know Little Mermaid. Um, I thought Halle Berry did all right. I, you know, I had no problem with her as the Little Mermaid. As, you know, it just, it just, I don't know, remakes, reboots, you already know what you're expecting. You know where the story's going. So I think that's one, one of the drawbacks of this movie to me was just the fact I knew where it was going and what it was going to be. On that note, I think it is a wait till Disney Plus type movie. Um, I took my daughter on it because, you know, I was, you know, mom, my parents took me to see the original uh, cartoon, so, and my daughter was a big Little Mermaid fan growing up, so I took my daughter to go see this, but the thing is, it is a wait, Disney Plus type movie, but let me know what you guys think of these movies, your, uh, reviews of them in the comment box below, if you're not a subscriber, I'll make subscribe to the channel, guys, and until next time.